be a measurement. What we use in the United States is a customary standard needed symmetric. Okay? We don't use symmetric metric system. Metric system is all other parts of the world. We use customary standard. And we're measuring liquid capacity and capacity or liquid measurement. What do you use? When you go to the store and you buy this milk, does it come in a two liter? No. Raise your hand what it comes in. Yeah. Gallons. Gallons. Now, gallons are what we use. We're going to talk a little bit about my favorite superhero. Dun, dun, dun. Gallon Man. Gallon Man. Now, Gallon Man, he fights crime in the kitchen. Just like, you know, Batman's in Metropolis, or maybe that's Superman. I'm not yeah, sure. yeah. Um, Gallon Man fights crime in the kitchen. Mrs. Miller's kitchen is a scene, let me tell you, a scene of bad things. The gallon man has to come in there and fight crime. He is faster than a refrigerator light going off. He is more powerful than spoiled milk. He can leap to a countertop in a single bound. Dun dun dun! Gallon man! That's right. And just like Mermaid Man has Barnacle Boy and Batman has Robin, Gallon Man has helpers too. Gallon Man cannot fight crime alone. So he had to incorporate some helpers. Anybody want to raise their hand and tell me who are four helpers that help Gallon Man fight crime? Quartzman. The Quartzman, okay. I'll put a Quartzman on this corner. I'll put a quart on this corner. Yeah. I'll put a quart on this corner, and I'll put a quart on this corner. Yeah. And, you know, when we look at this, how many quarts do you have, Brady Miller? Four. Four. And how many doll uh, quarters are in a dollar? Four. Four. Does that make sense, dude? Quarter, 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 quarter. But just like Mermaid Man had barnacle boy, and Gallon Man had quarts, the quarts need help us, too. Who helps the courts fight liquid capacity crime? And this is Miller's dirty kick. It's not really dirty. It's bad. Sock, crap, crap scene. What do you think, Corn? Pints. Pints. So we got the Pike Brothers, the double P's. One here, one here. Two, four, six. And how many are we going to have all together? Eight. Eight. Okay, so check this out. We got four quarts equal one gallon. You got eight pints equal one gallon. What's the relationship going on here? What's going on with our numbers? And how can we continue this pattern? Solid. They're doubling. They're doubling each time. So if I go from four to eight, eight's going to go to 16. 16. So 16 watts equal one gallon. 16 hmm. cups. cups. So when we put the cups up, Mr. Hall and I, we all do it a different way. Sometimes you put four across the top. Sometimes they put one on every corner because you start with letter C, like corner, and there's four quarts in the corner. Or sometimes you just give them eyeballs, like googly eyes. What's up to you? And if we counted these, we count by fours, four multiples of four, and say four, eight, 12, and finally, 16. 16. 16 cups equal one gallon. Well, it does. And this recipe would be very easy to figure out, except for one thing. Mrs. Wellsby really wanted to stretch the grain. So what she did, instead of making it real simple, she tried to make it a little harder for you. She wanted you to do some applications, some higher level thinking. She wants you to stretch your brain. So let's think about this. How? What? A quarter of a quart? A quarter of a quart. Well, let's find a quart. Find our quart. Uh, okay, let's go to this one. We'll cut it in half. What's half of a half? Okay, Lula. Well, half of a quarter is a pint. But now let's do half of a half. And now, what do you have? One quarter, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. What is a quarter of a quart? What do you think? One cup. One cup, absolutely. So a quarter of a quart of milk is one cup. So instead of making it really hard for you, you simplified it back down now. So how much milk does each person need for their milkshake? One cup. 
in one cup. And we could have stopped there, but Mrs. Wellsby wanted to be mean again, right, Mrs. Wellsby? Yeah, it's very evil. She usually wears a black cape, you know what I mean, and super villain outfit, but today she took it off. What is half a pint of ice cream? Well, we found out what a quarter of a quart is, and a half a pint, let's go up to a pint, all right, let's go to this pint, and let's cut this pint in half, and half a pint is, oh, half a pint, I get it. What is half a pint, Claude and Rusty? A cup. A cup. So, a half a pint of ice cream is one cup. A quarter of a quart, that's ridiculous, isn't it? This one cup. Can I try to stretch your brain one time? Yeah. Okay. A quarter, one fourth, of a quart, there's four and a quart, four times four is? Four times four is? Sixteen. What do we have sixteen of in a gallon? Cups. Cups. Does that make sense? Uh, whatever some people said, including mine. But I do believe we have one cup of milk, one cup of ice cream. Now we're going to talk a little bit about milliliters. Now we know what a liter is, that's measured. When we talk about milliliters, we talk about little teardrops, little eyedroppers, very small amounts. And we usually measure this in a liquid, but we're gonna measure our sugar, which is a solid in that. And Mrs. Wellsby's gonna hold up one back there if you have one, Mrs. Wellsby. It's, it looks very small, very small. Could you say that looks like a spoon out of your kitchen? No. Could it could look like a tablespoon possibly, or a teaspoon? All right, each person needs to put five milliliters of sugar in there, okay? So just a very small amount, sweep it up. Okay, now, we're gonna go just a little further, because we do wanna stretch your brain like this evening. Are you ready for this? Me and Mrs. Wellsby might walk around and she might take your cup, your measuring cup, away. If she takes your measuring cup away, and all you have is a half cup measuring cup, how are you gonna figure out how to do this? I can't do it, she took my cup away. I can't, I can't put my milk and my ice cream together. I'm so confused. What do you think, Keith? Two, two what? Two cups, that's two cups. Two what? Two half cups. Two half cups, so I do a half plus a half. All right, so I get a half and a half, which makes, which makes two halves, which makes two cups. I got it, Keith, no. thank you. No. I feel much. No. It doesn't work, that's not two cups. What are two halves? One whole. One whole, absolutely. Any fraction that has the same numerator and denominator makes one whole. So two halves equal one whole cup. All right, what if Mrs. Wellsby decides, I'm gonna take your, your whole cup away, Lexi, I'm gonna take your half cup away, I'm only gonna give you a third cup. She's off the beat, isn't she? Can you still do the problem? Can you still mix it? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna put one third plus, one third. plus one third, that's two thirds plus, one third. which equals? One whole or three thirds. I think you guys got this. Are you ready to do some mixing? Yeah. All right. We're going to split you up into groups. And we'll